Do 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 do. Hello, hair bestie. Okay, I'm here with my friend and model client Colleen, and we're gonna give her some volume in her hair. And you guys have messaged me and asked me to show you guys how to create more volume because sometimes I need big hair, you need big hair, and the struggle is how do you get that look without you know blowing out the hair, right? So what I like to do is before I blow dry the hair. I like to put my quick blow in first. So it decreases blow dry time like more than 50%. This is gonna save you. So I put in my quick blow first. And then now I'm gonna use our best friend is my defender. My defender is gonna protect your hair from heat styling. So we are gonna go in using a big curling iron. So this is one and three quarter inch. Yeah, he's big. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I usually have it on low heat. So I'm gonna turn on low heat, and then we're gonna bevel it to create a blowout look, but while smoothing the hair. I remember people feel like it's cheating when you're using an iron to create a blowout look. People feel like, oh, you know, you gotta be the best blowouter. Go, you know, you gotta, you know, put your arm into it. This is not a contest. I'm not trying to win an award. I just wanna save my back, my arm, my shoulder, my wrist. I wanna be able to get the hair dry, but still have volume that lasts while they're frizzing the hair. Because when you think about it, when you're blow drying the hair constantly, you're tugging, you're tugging, and the brush is pulling, you can rip away the cuticle. The hair is very sensitive and it's a fabric, right? The more you stretch and stretch and you think you're polishing, but the more you're doing it over time, you're causing just as much damage from the heat from the blow dryer. So I like to keep the heat low at all times, get the hair blow dried quick as possible, smooth it out as much as you can with the, with the round brush. However, Sometimes you need to go in to fine tune and polish the hair. So I'm gonna start on this side of Colleen's hair. I'm gonna turn her head down. And what I love to do is work diagonal forward and almost fan my way up, just like this. I fan my way up. So there's a pattern of going diagonal forward. So I'm gonna take a clip and I'm gonna go from the nape and I'll show you what I do. And using the right product is very important. So my defender, here we go. What I love about my defender is that not only does it protect your hair from heat, it has a soft satin-like finish touch to it. It feels like you get a nice hold, but it's still touchable, right? So I wrap it in inside the clamp, polish and smooth out. And it is on low heat. And you see that even though it's inside the barrel, I still polish the hair by rolling the barrel like that and you create this like nice curl pattern, you wanna leave that there so the curl can stay and look like a blowout. You have to let it cool down and when you brush her hair out, you'll see it just, whoo, it looks like a round brush, right? Due to the size of the barrel. You can use a one and a half inch as well, depending on your client's hair type, whether it will hold or not. This makes it look super, super smooth and mimics a blowout, just like that. And what I love is that when you spray, you get to let the mist just goes right on the hair. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna divide the section in half because the hair is a little thick in here. There's a lot of hair back here. So I always start the base, wrap the hair inside of the clamp, right? So all of it revolves around the barrel up to three times due to her length. And I let it sit and then I polish it and polish her hair out. You see that? I keep rolling the iron, so it's pulling it almost like a round brush without all the bristles tugging on it. And I just go back in, almost mimic mimicking a round brush. Pulling and stretching the hair gently, letting it glide through the barrel. And I always turn it away from the face because it looks like a blowout. And this is one of my looks that everyone, I remember for the longest time on Instagram, when I post, these images of the hair I do for like the last, you know, eight years on Instagram. Everyone's like, how do you get that look? How do you get that look? I'm showing you right now how I, how I get that look. Just like this, with this iron. Just like that, and you can see here. And look how pretty that looks. It brings out her beautiful color she has. You see the body. And by keeping it going the same direction, and sectioning the hair diagonal forward, you're able to have consistency with your results. It's gonna look very full, airy, and light. So you'll miss it from afar 
My defender needs to be missed on from afar because you don't want to just spray it right up close, right? Divide it in half because of hair. She has a lot of hair here. And what I love is that when we give the hair volume, not only does it appear lighter, brighter, it opens up the hair and also revealing how beautiful her hair color is. Okay, so going right underneath. And the more you over direct up, the more volume you're gonna get. So it's almost like when they teach us in beauty school, <laughs> you know, over direction, on base, off base, that type of, you know, mentality that we think of when we perm hair. It's the same thing when we're curling the hair. When we're curling the hair on base, you're gonna get more volume. When you're over directing it up, the hair up like this, you're gonna get even more volume. And always, always have it on as low heat as you can, even if you're using heat protection spray like my Defender. Having on low heat ensures that the color, it doesn't get burnt, because you can burn hair. It's crazy that when we burn our skin with an iron, we're like, ow, it hurts. Imagine what that does to your hair. No one ever thinks about, you know, how heat can damage our hair. The sun damage our skin, it can do the same thing to our hair. We need to look at hair like how we look at our skin. It's just that we don't feel it because it's on our hair, but it burns the color off. And over time, when you over, overly iron your hair on high heat, not only do you burn your color off, you're causing so much damage, cuticular damage, internalized damage to the fabric of your hair. And then also your hair doesn't respond anymore and it feels fried and crispy. And I'm just gonna repeat this all the way up and on the other side, repeating the same thing. And when I come back, you're gonna see the results. But you can see here, this is how it should lay. Make sure you curl both sides of the hair like this before you start raking your fingers through it, right? You wanna let it cool down for at least a couple minutes and then brush through it. All right, so I just got done curling her whole head. As you can see here, I'm gonna spin her around. Okay, you can see how everything's going into the center in that direction. I wanna show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna grab my Stardust. Okay, this is an intense shine spray that's very light and aerated. I wanna keep away from her routage, but what I like to do is mist the product and let the fog just land on those edges and those corners just to polish it, add shine. She naturally have a little bit of texture, so she kind of have some miniature flyaways that happen, and a lot of us do. Lord knows I do, we all have it. So we just gotta make sure we put them in check. So this, my Stardust, is the perfect product for that. Okay, so now that we missed that on, I'm gonna use my control. So my control is the medium hold hairspray that smells amazing. And what I love about my control is that you get to control all the flyaways that you see up here that sticks up, the antennas and the face frame. I'm gonna spray around the corners of her face here, control those little baby hairs. You can brush right through her hair. And we're gonna bring everything together. And look how beautiful that looks, right? It looks like the hair is full of body. And I wanna show you what I'm gonna do. So get the, my control, Guy Tang, my Dandy hairspray. Okay, I'm gonna section her hair out. And we're gonna do a quick back brush just to kind of boom it up. Look at this, so we add a little fullness. And I want it to look light, airy, like it's floating. You want the hair to look like it's floating. So go right back under here. And then you repeat the same thing on each side. This is one of my favorite techniques I love to do because it just creates so much fullness and airiness in the hair and brush out the surface, just like that. And then the same thing on this side. Make sure you back brush lightly, brush over the surface. And what I love about my control spray is that the hair is still touchable. I can still run my fingers through it, control the hair, but it doesn't feel crunchy. You can still brush, finger, and do what you need to do and spray as much as you need to control the hair, but always spray from afar. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my power spray. I love to use my power spray as a final touch to just bring everything all together. It's a firm hold hairspray. My 
Power spray is my favorite because it's not wet. It doesn't collapse the hair. I use this on my own hair to get lift and volume. And I love the actuator so you could twist and close so you could travel with it. And I spray it on my own hair just to get a little more lift around the base and the back. So then I like to use my fingers and claw at her routage and just let the mist just kind of sit right on in. And you can see that hair just expand right before your eyes with the hold of my power spray, right? Okay, so now I know this looks crazy right now because it's looking really poompity and kind of full, but this expansion is the expansion you get from the My Power Spray. I just want you to see what's happening here. So now I'm going to use my hands, I'm going to get behind her, bring the hair to the front here. I want you to see, get the brush, and now you're going to use her fingers, expand that hair out. This is going to look amazing. And then you could go from underneath, back brush just a little bit, and then let's work at her, her bangs here, her fringe. I need to give her a little more lift right here. So what I like to do, you're gonna go right here, right behind. I'm gonna lift her bangs up, back brush that bang area a little bit, a little bit. Brush the surface out. Okay, so that way you really can see her money piece highlight pop out, just like so. And she has a bunch of little flyaways right around her hairline, because we all do. Okay, so let's do a second take and take a look at how she's looking. I think you're looking great. This is pretty awesome. So there you have it. This is how you get more of that volume, that look. I love it. She's looking perfect. You saw all the products I used. Let's turn you so you can see. I mean, the hair is pretty big. Let's look. It's big, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. I, it's big. Can you handle it? I'm from Texas. I can handle it. Oh! <laughs> well, we're neighbors. I'm from Oklahoma. So just to go over what we did, okay, we did use the Guy Tang My Quick Blow blow dry spray before we blow dry her hair. And then we use our friend, My Defender, before we curl her hair, okay? And then we shine up her hair with my Stardust to add shine to her hair. And all of this is layered on top of each other. And this is how you layer products, by the way. And then we use my control to sculpt her hair and shape it. And then we use the my power to get the firm hold and lift and volume. And I love my power spray because you get so much texture and bulk to your hair. Your hair just feels big and beautiful. Just look at this. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments below and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and, <laughs> and everywhere. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell button. And I'll also leave your Instagram below so you get to follow Colleen because she's awesome and she's a sweetheart. <laughs> All right, love you, bye. I created a new exciting product for all of us. And here we are. You need a Lift Me Up. The Lift Me Up is a very unique hybrid. It lifts up to six levels. You will have the Empower Oil Booster and you get three shades. The Inspire Rose Blonde. That's gonna be like the rose gold tone. The Illuminate Pearl. The product will just sink right in because it's an oil hybrid liquid based color. This is Passion, which is bright blonde. And this is gonna have a beautiful golden glow tone. I feel lifted.